welcome Amalgam Maniacs to your very next installment and very special edition of this week we have a very special guest, my niece, Kennedy Wright, will be joining us to help us on our very special first time ever all superhero girls, I mean all female superhero action figure opened. It. It's the first time ever doing it. She's going to be joining us, helping us open up some of our action figures and talk about them. And we're going to give away prizes. And we're going to show prizes that we're going to be giving away. So, Kennedy, why don't you say hi to everyone? Hello, I'm Kennedy, and I'm here to open up action figures. Spoken like a true prodigy. And we're going to get right into the festivities here. What, what do we got? We got our, what's first? Maestro? He's a maestro. The winners. The winners. Should do the winners first. It's a good idea. I'll copyright that. It's my idea. Actually, it's his idea. I just like to take credit for it. Winners. Winner's circle. Who do we got? Let's Whoa. do first place. Who gets first place? Daryl Proto. Daryl Proto. Thank you so very much for showing here. Awesome. Actually, how about that Daredevil Punisher rooftop action figure pose? I don't remember it. I saw Daredevil and Punisher, but I don't remember exactly what it that was. That was easily my favorite one, but you did an amazing job on your action figure poses. So, Daryl Proto, congratulations. You will be receiving uh, Batman Eternal number 1 through 26 or 36. I forget. The I think it's the 1 through 36. 1 through 36, the entire storyline you will be receiving. You'll also be receiving the Bishop X-Men action figure, loose, of course. Um, the variant, the ball variant of the Bishop action figure. Very rare. Um, he is missing one gun, but he does have the one gun. So you'll be receiving him in that condition. Um, please pose him up. Let us see, you know, what he looks like on your mantle or wherever you pose your action figures. Um, who's going to be getting second place? Luis Rodriguez Jr. Even though his face is real disrespectful, we gave him second place. He must have rigged it. Luis Rodriguez Jr. will be receiving the mini Batman action figure. And you'll also be receiving Azrael number four. Um, congratulations. Thank you for all of your participation. How about that Kyle Rayner uh, action figure pose he did? The Green Lantern Kyle Rayner? I saw it. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. Um, so. Congratulations to Louis Rodriguez Jr. You'll be receiving the Batman minifigurine and Asriel number four. And third place. For third place, we have Damian Johnson. Damian Johnson, you will be receiving Avengers number two for your trouble. Avengers No Road Home number two. For your trouble. Um, all of our winners will be receiving cards and pins and all kind of other extra loot in their prize winnings and um, the winners from the show and tell before this one will be receiving their prizes around the same time because they're all getting sent out at the same time so be on the lookout if you won in the last month um, special prize I wanted to hand out myself for John Jack for all of those Superman comics he showed off it was like a ridiculous amount of Superman comics and um, some are covers I haven't seen since I was a kid I just wanted to I'll give you a little something extra for um, showing off your Superman comics. And we got your Star Wars cup and some um, action figure cards and a Jimmy Olsen must die uh, pin to wear. So, congratulations, John Jack. You will be receiving that. And we will be moving right on to our prizes for next week. First place, first of all. Shout out to all the ladies, the Amalga Lovelies in our group. Um, please, ladies, participate in this week because this show is all about the female um, action figures and superheroes. And um, we definitely want to hear what you guys think about some of the heroes and um, action figures you will be seeing open up on the show today. So please let us know. Um, next week, next oh, and, there, and it, this week, I'm sorry, this edition of Show and Tell also features all female, um, well, except for the graphic novel, all female comic books as well for prizes. 
So shout out to the ladies. Thanks for doing what you do. And oh, also we're going to be handing out all action. Uh, I'm sorry, all female stickers and um, superhero action cards as well, trading cards, so you guys can have those as well. Um, we are going to be handing out one, two, three, four different comics and a graphic novel. Or, I'm sorry, three comics and a graphic novel because these two are first place. For first place, we are going to be handing out um, value ones of the DC Re DC Universe Rebirth. Titans entire first volume, um, the graphic novel. So you're going to get that for absolutely free for showing us your stuff. So show us your, uh, your, your whatever, nerd-friendly uh, posters, your action figures, your video game collection, your stamp collection, your Basically coins, anything. any fandom you have, anything that you have, show it off and we will give you stuff. Um, also, for first place, you will be receiving the Uncanny X-Men number five with some X-Ladies on the cover there. Gotta love that. Gotta love the X-Ladies when they come together. Second place. Um, actually, you know what? We're not going to do second place, third place, fourth place. We're just going to give away these next four. So first place will be the graphic novel and X-Men number five. We will be receiving, I mean, we will be handing out, um, Sheena of the Jungle, Queen of the Jungle, number zero from Dynamite Comics, I believe, Dynamite Comics. Um, we will be giving away the Vampirella. Vampirella? I can never say that correctly. Is it Vampirella or Vampirella? I think it's Vampirella. Vampirella, number 22, which we will be giving away. And Faith, number one from Valiant, which we will be giving away. And we will be giving away Revolutionary War Motormouth uh, number... Oh, this is a one-shot. So this is a one-shot comic, Revolutionary War with Motormouth. We'll be giving that away as well. So show us your stuff. So we can give you some stuff. Also, we will be announcing in the next show and tell the winner of the action figure of the month, because there's like three more days left in July, correct? So you have three more days to participate, to show us your stuff, so we can give you some stuff, and we will be giving away Mr. Sinister action figure for the month of July, and a Mr. Sinister X Factor, I mean, a X Factor comic featuring Mr. Sinister as well for the month of July. And for the month of August, do not forget, we will also be giving away Black Spider-Man and Black Spider-Man comic. Very rare action figurage. We got on a trade from Luis Rodriguez. Thank you for trading that to us. I don't know if he did that on purpose, but it is awesome. So, yeah, show us your stuff and we'll give you some stuff. I swore... I had an extra goodie to give away with second place in here. <laughs> Wonder Woman mini action figure goes second place. So, whoever we'll gets second place, you're going to get a Wonder Woman mini action figure courtesy of my t shirt. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. It's marvelous. Um, so, participate. So, we can give you some stuff. Now, I'm going to be opening up some action figurage. Plenty of action figurage to open up, I think, today. Um, I'm going to let you guys pick. You guys pick an action figure out of those three. Go ahead, just pick one up. Wonder Woman. I'll get Supergirl. And I, I have Wonder Woman. This mystery guest. Okay, you know how this works, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to open up our action figurage, and um, we're going to tell you what we think about each action figure, and we're going to show them off a little bit, right? We're going to be show and tell if we didn't do any showing. So one by one, hand me your boxes, and I will open them up for you, or at least cut the tape, and then you can open them up. And as soon as you get your action figure back, go ahead and open them up. And then uh, we will take turns talking about the action figures, which we are currently opening up. 
and let the good people know what we think about them, etc. So who's that go to you? Okay. I tried to open the side, but I kind of ripped it already. No worries. Nice cardboard. Thank you. Yep. And of course, I gotta be Stabby McStabberson and stab mine because Marvel Legends just makes the impossible to open <laughs> plastic coverings. Shout out the Marvel Legends Series 1 for being impenetrable. Uh oh. What do we got here? Wow, this is hard to open. Urban Legends poster book, I believe. We'll throw that in with the prizes as well. What do you think? Sure. Urban Legends poster book. We're going to throw that in with the prizes as well. So make sure you participate so you can get some of this epic, epic prizage. No, 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 that's actually her belt. No, not this, this, so I can get it out. Oh, yeah, I think you just gotta twist it. We'll see. That one you twist, kiddo. See it? Yeah. Let me see. Where's all the stuff that it comes It's right out? here. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, no, 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 this, I think you could just pull off. Mm. There you go. Yeah, it makes sense. Princess Diana. All right. Wow. This one's gonna take a second, so why don't you guys, uh, Chino, want, well, Kennedy, why don't you go first? Say who you open up. I opened up Wonder Woman. Nice. Whew. What do you think about her? I think she's really cool. Okay. What's your favorite part about it? Well, my favorite part about it is that it comes with like shields and stuff so that you can like in the arm so that you can replace it if you're doing stuff with it. You are your nephew's niece. That is my favorite part. I love accessories. I love everything about action figures, but I am a you mean lunatic. Uncle? Yeah, you are your nephew's niece. Is that what your I uncle's said? niece. <laughs> you you are meant to nephew. say you <laughs> You are your uncle's niece. Um, I love uh, accessories. It's my favorite part of um, collecting and styling my action figures. Um, I don't want the action figures if they don't come with all cool. kinds of accessories. Yeah, it's just meh. I can do without. Um, but thank you for opening that up and letting us know what you think about it. Her hair um, comes in plastic. Wow. Okay. So who'd you get? Supergirl? Yeah. Talk about it. Um, this is the D. These are both DC icons. Um, and well, one's DC icons, one's DC collectibles. Um, action figures. They're uh, related and they're both uh, usually very detailed and very articulate. Go ahead, tell them. Well, this Supergirl has one of those capes that's like bendy and you can pretty much do whatever with it. Her hair is kind of like that. It's rubbery. And she's poseable. Which I love about the DC icons. They're definitely one of the more poseable uh, lines of action figures out there. She's definitely poseable. Um, um, shoot. I think she's a good action figure overall. There you have it. Kid thinks she's a good action figure. Um, Kennedy loves the Wonder Woman action figure. I'm looking at both of them and they do look amazing. Um, okay. okay, and I opened up Marvel Legends Series 1 Electra. A action figure I have been dying to open up because, as anyone knows, Daredevil is one of my favorite 
um, comic book heroes of all times, and Elektra is a mainstay in all of Daredevil's goings on. Um, I'm not crazy about the the look on this thing, honestly. I think that it could have been sculpted better. I feel like her face isn't looks a little. Oh, can I see? <laughs> she's got like a really protruding face, which I don't like for Electra, but it's um you know it's different, but it still looks a lot like the comic book version of Electra, and it comes with some cool swords. And some size, so I'm sure I will do some epic action figure posage with her and make up for the difference of or lack of uh, detail in the face. I see what you mean by the face. Yeah, I, I just she doesn't look like any comic version of Electra I've ever seen. She looks completely different. There is Electra Nachos, Marvel Legends Series 1. That's a cool sword. Yeah, I like the swords. And she comes with size as well that fit into her back on a little holster. I believe the swords go in there, too. She comes with all kinds of weapons, which we just got done talking about. Gotta love the accessories and weapons. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. And that's pretty awesome. Oh, that is really cool. Yeah. If it's two swords and two sides at the same time. <laughs> that was perfect timing. Like, like, really good to see that. So there is your Electra Nachios, Marvel Legends. Series one action figureage, and we are going to definitely get some good posing in done with that. Um, okay, next up we have two more. One I am very, very excited personally to open up, and I'm gonna open up that one on my own, and I'm gonna let you guys open up this one. Yeah, I know this is one of my this was one of my crown. Uh, collection pieces of my personal collection. I love this character. She is the only reason why I watch the show that she's in. She's awesome. She's my girl. That's my favorite anime. I'll let you guys open it up and uh, talk about that. It's actually Mikasa Ackerman from Mikasa. Attack on Titan, my favorite um, anime. Possibly one mine, too. I'd say it's up there in my top five. And I am opening up none other than Misty Knight, Marvel Action. I mean, a Marvel um, Legends, Misty Knight. I love Misty Knight. I love her in the TV shows more so than in the comics. I like her in the comics as well, but I absolutely love her character in the TV shows so much. Awesome, awesome, awesome job. Shout out to Netflix, Daredevil, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, and all the others as she was an awesome mainstay character throughout. And she does come with a cool handgun and her awesome shield issue uh, golden fist. And she comes with her trademark revolver, which is bent. Oh, that sucks. What happened? Okay. Yeah, my, the revolver was bent, but it seems like it's going to be pretty easy to fix. Who's that? We talked about that before, how much I hate when the uh, accessories come bent or messed up. Uh, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, look, it comes with the ODM gear. Yep. The ODM gear goes in her legs. Go ahead, set her up. Oh, it's got to me. Yeah, this thing is bent really bad. I gotta bend this thing back. Ridiculously detailed and articulate. Comes with a nice holster and her um, shield issue golden fist. Mm. 
Misty Knight. I cannot wait to do some epic action figure poses with her. I think this is going to be my favorite pet project to find somebody dope for Misty Knight to fight. How are we doing? Oh, there we go. With Mika Sai. She's hard to take out. I'm just going to be honest. Like, she's really. It's really hard to take out because all the stuff she comes with. And it's like. It's a bit of a chore to get Mikasa out of her plastic. Yes. They didn't put all, like, the ODM gear all together as one. Like, you have to. You gotta take it out and put it together? Yeah, like. Would you yeah. like some help? Please, please. Oh, nice. And this also, hold on, before we. Oh, before I help you out. This also comes with a Rhino Build-A-Figure, so you know how we're doing with our Build-A-Figure pieces. We will show all the Build-A-Figure pieces in this edition of Show and Tell, and you can just let us know what you need, and we will give it to you, because we want you to build those action figures. Oh, the box? Ah, oh, there we go. You got it? Yeah. All of it? Let me see. Oh, wow, yeah, her ODM gear comes with wires, and it's attached, and she's taped in here. I you, can see why you had The way things. to get the wires out, see, you catch this from the sword. Okay. Then it's got a nice little a stand, stand too, yeah. Right I'm probably going to just pose her and put her in the stand because she doesn't look like she's much of a posable action figure like we're used okay. to. The hole in her leg on this side looks like it's messed up or needs to be cleared out. What do you think? Look at the hole on the other side. It looks the same. No, this one looks like it fits. Or am I tripping? Am I tripping? No, I'm not tripping. This is it. See, look. This one looks like it fits in fine. Then you can kind of pivot it and change it, but her legs don't kind of change, so you're going to have to do like poses as she's flying through the air. But this side, and I have been becoming very, very comfortable with doing um, maintenance on our action figures. My son has caught me quite a few times fixing and tinkering with broken action figures. And um, I have been successfully fixing them. So um, if you have any questions about things that break or that you need repairs with, um, Ask me. I might be able to help you because I have been repairing most of my own action figures as well. And it has been oodles of fun. Um, just to tinker and to mess around with some of this stuff. And I have been becoming a pro somewhat. As soon as I say that, I start breaking stuff. Shut up. Don't laugh at your father. Okay, wait a minute, hold up. Now what? Are we missing something here? We're missing something, aren't we? What are these hoses connected to? Her swords? Yeah. Well, why don't you tell me that, maestro? Let's have them. Uh, All right, you do it. Yes. Fine, I'll just play with Misty Knight. Um... Yeah, so repairs, any questions or comments you have about some of the things that you've had to do to fix your action figures. Matter of fact, that's going to be a part of our theme for this show. Let us know things you've had to do to fix action figures. You never know. Pass on the knowledge of someone who might need it. Um, I often do. So please let me know what you've done to fix some of your action figures. And I will let you know what I've done to fix some of mine. And uh, we will keep in trade notes. This Kara action figure is epic. Over here is Bendy. Nice. And we opened up that Superman a couple weeks back. I can't wait to pose those two together. I get Dark Side for Christmas so I can do Superman and Supergirl versus Dark Side. That's in a movie. I know. I try to pose, I try to make all my poses either comic accurate or uh, movie accurate. Scenes and parts from movies and comics. There we go. Fine. Finally, his task is done. Not really. I still got to get the other side. Not really. Still needs more work. Here, let me help. 
pretty much the hardest part is getting the, uh, the, the, the sword in her hand, but then I just realized that you can leave her fingers. So. Oh, you can? Yeah. They're posable? Mm, they're not posable, but look, they're like okay, enough to where you can just bend them real quick, but they go right back. No worries. She's going to look great on her stand. We're going to stand her up next to Batman or somebody. Oh, excuse me. Ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, yeah. Because sometimes I have learned that these things just don't fit. No matter what you do. Like, I don't think that one's going to. Her fingers are very, very small. Yeah. That, those fingers, like, they're, like, closer together than... Oh, the this, oh, they're specifically made to fit and then clamp onto. That's awesome. Um, what, what was that, the McFarlane Arts one? Note to self, the McFarlane Arts uh, action figures are, are pretty hard to, uh, you know, fit in. But at the same time, when you do, they snap into place very well. And they like hold very well unless you're messing with it. It's not gonna come out. Yeah, that hand's easier to put the or the um, sword in. Yeah, that one is easier. Yeah. Okay. I think we got it. As close just as we're gonna the wire. get. To Ugh, Mikasa is a problem to fix. Just like she's a problem in the anime. Not really. She chops Titans up. That's no problem. Well, not for us, but I mean, it's a problem for the Titans. That's cool. Yeah, this is going to look awesome when she's like posed and flying through the air. Mikasa Ackerman. That is awesome. You didn't even see her. She was so fast. And it does it. We're done. Go home. Get out of here. Show us your stuff. We will give you some stuff. Join us for the next show and tell. Where we will give you some stuff and show you some stuff. And give you some stuff. As is a custom here on show and tell. We should call it show, tell, and give. Amalga show, tell, and give you some stuff. Show, comma, tell, comma, and give. I don't like it. It's too... I broke it. You didn't break it. I could not end the Wait, show without breaking it? it. No, I didn't break it. It just came out. Oh, but it felt like I broke it. He detached her foot. I did no such thing. I love me because she might hear it. All right, I'm just going to put Mikasa down before I break her any further. <laughs> um, social stuff. Join us on the next Amalga Show and Tell. We will be showing you some stuff, giving you some stuff, and looking at the stuff that you show. And telling about it. I also wouldn't be showing, telling, being showing. We say nothing. Which it's not. So show us your stuff. We'll give you some stuff. Kennedy. And tell you. Thank you so very much for doing our all girl action figure open up with us. You're welcome. Because it would have been kind of messed up if we didn't have at least one girl on the show with us, right? So thank you for being a girl and for being here with us, opening up girl action figures. We love doing it, right? Did you have fun? Yeah. I had fun. I had fun. Good. We're going to have to have you back on for the next annual. Or will you come back and do the next annual all-girl open-up action figure show? Yes. Good. It's locked in. Ladies and gentlemen, her agent will call my agent. They'll do lunch. Until then, we'll see you in the next Amalga Show and Tell. Enjoy yourself. Don't forget to use your thumbs, show us, leave comments, and show lots of your stuff. And, um... We'll see you in the next Amalga Show and Tell.